This video will demonstrate the new features in ORCA 3D hydrostatics and stability. We'll begin with the default hull from the ship assistant. We'll select the surfaces under stability, select compute hydrostatics and stability. As always, I have two basic ways of computing hydrostatics, either based on a sinkage or based on a weight. And within those, I have the option of specifying a trim and a heel or an LCG and TCG. First, let's start with sinkage. I can simply specify a value here. If I have a list of sinkages, multiple conditions I'd like to run, I can do that by saying, uh, for example, if I want every tenth of a meter from zero to a half meter, I could say comma 0.1, comma dot dot dot, comma 0.5. That means run every one tenth of a meter until I reach 0.5. If you need help remembering that, there's a tool tip here. And if you click on this, it will bring you to the section in the ORCA 3D documentation that describes it. If I have further conditions that I'd like to run at a different spacing, I can include those, comma, 0.7, comma, dot, 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 comma, 1.1. So now I have every tenth of a meter from 0 to 0.5 and every two tenths of a meter until I reach 1.1 meters of sinkage. I've chosen to mirror that about the center plane, and I have the usual options of adding a plane to represent the water surface, transforming the model to the resulting condition, adding a list of writing arms, and again, here I can use the same syntax, 0, comma, 5, comma, dot, 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 comma, 45, and then I might like to run every 10 degrees until I reach 105 degrees. There's a new option to output the data to a CSV file. And this is easily read into Excel and parsed by uh, other or parsed by other programs and in Excel you can do your own plotting very easily. There's also a new feature here called use custom conditions so that if you have conditions that are created by various combinations of sinkage, trim and heel or weight and CG, all those combinations are listed here. You can deselect the ones that you don't want to run. You can add new ones that you would like to run. You can rename the conditions. So this might be light ship. This might be full load, for example. And you can actually go in and modify the values of sinkage, trim, and heel. Or if you'd like to change that condition to a free float, you can input a weight and a center of gravity to correspond to the condition you're trying to run. So for now I'm going to turn that off and if I calculate I'll see the report beginning with a summary page of all of these conditions. So at each of these conditions it's running the heel angles over to 105 degrees at these settings. And here's my report, beginning with the summary page. Moving on, I see the plots of the data, grouped by the type of value, followed by a page which shows me the surfaces that were included in the hydrostatics calculation. And then I move on to the detailed information for each of the conditions. including my sectional area curve and a writing arm curve. As I said earlier, in addition to specifying a sinkage, we could instead specify a weight and a center of gravity. And if I know that total value, I can type that value in. If I don't know the total value, perhaps if I know the components of it, I can click on this calculator icon and this brings up essentially a small spreadsheet where you can input a list of items by name with their weight and center of gravity and it will total those down here for me. I can add new items simply by clicking on the add item, entering the value here and when I click OK, it fills in those values here for me in weight and CG. Those are still available to be modified, but 
the calculator is a way to initialize those values. If I've got a fully detailed weight and cost model, I can get the weight and the center of gravity from the weight and cost items by clicking this button and it will initialize those values. And now I can calculate those just as I would any other condition. So that's what's new in the Orca 3D hydrostatics and stability functionality.